Ray Charles would be doing a Hayden line, I would have thought. Yeah, like, um, uh, you know, we, we, our offense wasn't flowing, you know, like it has been. Uh, and then when you shoot free throws uh, the way we did tonight, it just compounds it, um, you know, so uh, dis disappointing to get the opportunity to knock down a lot of free throws and, you know, 22 or 40, you know, that's, that's the game right there. Uh, you know, like I, I do think uh, there's like it, it does, um, you know, kinds of, kind of compounds uh, as that happens. But um, you know, the professional athletes, um, you know, that that's their craft. So making free throws in an environment like that, that's what all players want to embrace and be a part of. So uh, we didn't step up to the task in that area tonight. Uh, probably the second and third quarter, we just couldn't get into a good flow and rhythm of the game. Um, you know, we did a good job of like sticking around, making it ugly, um, but we just couldn't create any real momentum until the fourth quarter when we changed up our defense a little bit. Um, I will be curious though to see whether that game was 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 53 minutes. Like we've been here twice, and the way that the clock operates, like something needs to be done about that. Like. I get emails from the NBL every week saying that uh, technical uh, situations in these arenas are getting addressed. We've been here twice this year and the clock's all over the place. Like I had a referee tell me tonight it got reset by a minute because they, they took a minute off. Like we're trying to get in the flow of the game. We're struggling with the flow of the game and we're stopping the game because the clock like, you know, like can we make free throws? Absolutely. but. You know, we're a professional outfit here, and this is twice that this has happened in this arena. How difficult is it playing in that situation, Luke, when you've got the clock being a problem? I mean, at the end of the day, it's basketball, so you just got to go out there and do your job. Um, obviously, it's in the back of your mind when you're playing, but I mean, you just got to take care of the, the little things on the court, and um, yeah, we didn't do too good of a job of that. Second time in a row, you've gone up to Brisbane and lost to them. What is it about the way they're playing that is giving you headaches as a team? Uh, look, their, their perimeter players are pretty aggressive, uh, attacking us. Um, what I would say is we got to get out of the rut of uh, playing uh, to the level of a team on the ladder. If you look at our record overall, uh, we, we, are, we rise to the occasion against the teams that are above us. Uh, and we make ball games out of these teams that are below us on the ladder. So that's something that we certainly need to do address and come out, uh, you know, with a more dogged mentality to that. Luke, can you address that? Like, do you think that the players change their mindsets depending on whether it's a top team or a lower team? Yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, you can see it with our record and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's something we've got to address and hopefully do a better job of uh, going forward as well. Anyone else there? No. Any, any other questions? Thanks, Craig. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep, no worries.